Kilowatt here and in this video we're going to upgrade the Mazda infotainment system, the Mazda Connect. In preparation for uh, doing the CarPlay upgrade first we need to get the firmware. I suggest that you do an internet search uh, or check forums good place to see where the latest firmware can be found. You want to download that firmware and I will and get the hash values for it and I, let me show you how to check verify that the hash values are correct once you get the the firmware files onto your thumb drive. So you've got your thumb drive, your eight or 16 gig thumb drive. I mean it can be bigger but those those sizes work very well for this it seems. Uh, at FAT32 you've got your two your uh, fail safe and your reinstall dot up files that you have downloaded. Hopefully you've got a the hash values for what your file for, for your files and you have got a MD5 and S, uh, SHA, SHA, check some utility. And here, so you're going to want to, with the files on the thumb drive, nothing else on that thumb drive, you're going to want to check and verify that the hash values are correct. This tells you that there's no corruption on these files that are on the thumb drive itself. So we're going to browse to the thumb drive. Uh, I'm going to start with the failsafe. It's small. Hit open. I'm going to come over here and this is the MD5 hash for the failsafe file. I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to hit verify. MD5 hash matched. So we're good with that one. Now we're going to go to the reinstall file which is a little bigger and as you can see it takes a little longer to go through. Copy MD5 hash paste it verify MD5 hash matched. So we know that these are good files they're the correct file according to the hash and they copied to the thumb drive correctly. So we're good there. All right, let's go out to the car. All right, so hopefully your files checked out. And uh, let me just give a disclaimer here. Before you actually do this, make sure you've researched it and you know what you're doing. I mean, hopefully this video helps show how to do it but you've got to have the correct files make sure they're the correct files for your area so north america europe different files so make sure you've done your research again do a search check out the different forums i'm doing this in an mx5 miata uh, but it's the same thing on any of the mazdas and uh Again, this is do this at your own risk. This video is intended for entertainment purposes only. All right, so we're in the car, and you're going to want to make sure you take out your navigation SD card, disconnect any devices, your USBs, your auxiliary, you know, unplug mobile phones, uh, that type of thing, uh, Bluetooth. Uh, is shouldn't be an issue. Just things that are plugged in. All right, without pressing any pedals, we're going to hit the start stop engine button. Again, no pedals. That's going to put it in accessory mode. All right, so one of the things we're going to want to do, you actually want to change it to FM, AM, or DAB radio. I actually have no idea what DAB stands for. On your control, at your command, 
center here. You're going to want to press the music button, your favorites, and press down on your volume control at the same time for like three to five seconds, something like that. All right, so this first one, you're going to want to hit three, move camera, focus, hit three, and then you're going to want to press enter. There are no active DTCs. All right, but I hit clear anyway. Focus on the screen. Cameras don't seem to like focusing on the screen. All right, hit clear. Now, since I didn't have any, we're good. Now I'm going to hit two, and we're going to hit clear again. Status window, we're good. All right. Now, I'm going to do this the official way. So I'm going to switch the ignition off. So we're going to press the button again twice because this we pressed it once to get to accessory twice to get to on and the third time is to turn the, the computer off so we've turned the computer off we're going to have all the doors closed including the hood trunk etc and it helped the camera would focus and i'm going to get out of the car and using the remote, I'm going to lock the doors and then I'm going to move the remote at least five meters away and let the vehicle set for three minutes. That's the uh, CMU sleep timer. And that'll put it to sleep. And again, is this necessary? Uh, it's the official way to do it. So that's how we're going to do it. All right, so we're back in the vehicle and we press the start stop button once to uh, without touching pedals to uh, bring up the Mazda Connect system let it fully boot now what you're going to want to do is watch the top of the screen here as and you're going to plug in your USB stick And you're going to check, hopefully, disk image connected. Okay, so your USB 1 is connected. So it has seen the USB stick. Now make sure nothing else is connected. All right, now that it's seen it, we're going to press the three buttons again. Music favorites and mute hold them down and we got our, our uh, test screen back now this time we're gonna do 99 enter it's gonna ask to search say search now what this is doing is it's looking to see if there's any updates checking your USB and you can see currently 59.00546 and we got two packages we've got the reinstall reinstallation package that's the big one and then we have the fail safe package that was the smaller one if you remember the file sizes you want to always start always do the fail safe package first and obviously that's the fail safe and one note, if your version is 29.00 or older, do not do this. It's not going to work. So, but again, do your research. Make sure that you got it. You know what you're doing. Now we're going to hit install. And we're going to wait. Um, there is, so, you know, when you have it on accessory, it's got like a 25 minute or so timer so that after you know around 25 minutes it will automatically shut down the CMU unless you've pressed a pedal brake or clutch and uh, one other thing while you're doing this don't touch any other controls 
don't you know don't mess with your command switches or anything like that the only thing you want to do is about every you know I, I play it safe so about every 15 minutes I want to press a pedal to reset that idle timeout and we'll let this finish this one shouldn't take too long as you can see it's over half done all right and it finished and it took like I didn't actually do a timer but uh, it took like there was like three minutes of time between when I stopped the recording and now all right so we're gonna hey okay so now we're gonna press the clutch in my case it's the clutch press your brake if you're an automatic that reset the timer we're gonna press the three buttons again hold them three there we go and there's our screen we're gonna do nine nine enter enter yep we're gonna search this part should be familiar all right so this time we're gonna do the reinstallation package so we're gonna hit install preparing to update so it's the screen should go black after this and then it's gonna go white and then you're gonna see that timer again the the page that gives the percentage I should say of completion and while we're waiting I'm setting a 15 minute timer yep 15 I know 25 is should be fine but again I'm paranoid and this is still going so we're gonna stop the recording here and let it run and again from here it should go to a black screen then a white screen and then it should start the uh, percentage timer so that you can see where it's at all right it's been about two minutes and we're now at the black screen yep you've just black screened your CMU oh this is hey look at that it didn't do the white screen it went straight to the uh, percentage interesting but there's the percentage and uh, we'll see how long it takes it's been 15 minutes repeat oh don't forget to press the clutch or brake depending on your car and we're at 93 percent uh, one other thing make sure while this is happening make sure you've got your key in the car so don't walk off with your key uh, that'd be bad all right it finished uh, mine took uh, 23 minutes so just for reference uh, I'm in a 19 Mazda MX-5 Miata uh, your mileage may vary based upon the CMU in your vehicle I don't know if like 16s have slower CMUs or not. Also, the package that you're installing probably affects the time that it takes. So, mine was, uh, what did I say? 23 minutes? That um, can be longer, could be shorter. All right. So, it says to please restart the vehicle for changes to take effect. Do not restart the vehicle. Again, I'm doing the official way of doing it. Instead, start stop twice in order to turn the ignition to off now we're gonna pull the USB stick we're gonna take the key and we're gonna get out of the vehicle with the key lock it 
and leave it set for uh, at least three minutes so that the CMU goes into sleep mode. Again, we're just we're doing the official uh, and official way of doing it. So, okay, we're back in the car again without touching the pedals. Press the start stop ignition button. And you want to let it fully boot up. Let it fully boot up so it says wait a minute for it to fully boot up. Wait a full minute. So I got my phone. And make sure that you don't have, again, don't have any USB uh, thumb drives or phone or anything connected to it. So this is the first time it's booted after the update. Okay, it's been a minute. Now we want to go to the main screen, home button. Go to config. Da, 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 da. System all the way down about version info ba boom there it is so we have uh, we have updated just gonna hit okay all right now it says turn the ignition off so two buttons two presses it's off now uh, it's shutting down if you don't have nav you're good you're good to go if you have nav, you want to go ahead and put the uh, navigation SD card in, and you're going to, well, I don't, so I can't show you this, but uh, put it in, check, and go, then go to your nav, or, I'm sorry, hit, hit uh, accessory, hit the start stop button um, once, no pedals, and go to uh, nav and see if it's working. If it, uh, if you see that it's showing the right location, everything, you should be good. And uh, if it's not showing the right location, you're going to want to go ahead and start the car, drive. Uh, it says 50 meters, at least, you know, possibly 50 meters at a speed of at least 15 kilometers an hour or faster to see if the GPS will pick it up. Now, a couple things that it says, if updating process does not finish successfully, turn the ignition switch off, do not start the engine. Wait until the screen turns to black, remove the USB memory stick, remove room fuse and wait for one minute, install room fuse, turn ignition switch to accessory, that's one push, no pedals. Confirm the screen below appears and it's got a picture of uh, install not successful system failure. Make sure that the USB with update package is inserted. The system will then automatically retry the update. At that point you connect the USB memory stick to the USB port. Confirm that update process restarts and continue the process from where uh, it left off. So, hopefully you won't have issues, but again, this you're doing this at your own risk. You know, a lot of people have done it. It's been successful. Uh, I've heard of some people that have had issues, but it's usually because they let the accessory uh, timeout turn it off, or they, you know, left with the key, something like that. Um, and, that, you know, so pay attention use a timer and that should get you going so thanks for watching this part if it was helpful and i tried to be good and detailed if it was helpful please like subscribe comment and hopefully i've got my hub uh, and cables for the carplay to to replace in order to get the carplay part to work and hopefully i'll be doing that one here in a couple days